interrupt me, Chair, and I'd be, I'd be quicker. Uh, Mr Skidmore, um, you may be aware, in, in terms of uh, understand that there is a rally of general aviation taking place in Tamworth tomorrow. You're probably aware of that. Uh, Mark Skidmore, Chief Executive Officer and Director of Aviation Safety for the Civil Aviation Safety Authority, and yes, Senator, I am. Okay, and, and as I understand it, there are a number of uh, 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 unhappy parties involved in general aviation who are concerned about a number of issues, including uh, the ADSB. Have you had an opportunity, or has CAS had an opportunity, to engage uh, with various groups that will be at this rally in Tamworth tomorrow? Senator, I'm not exactly, exactly sure who will be at the rally tomorrow. Right. And in so it's difficult to actually say we've engaged with anyone, but we've engaged with a number of people regarding ADSB. Right. Is there any plan to delay the implementation of ADSB given some of the concerns that have been raised in uh, the general aviation community? And you're aware of the submission of, uh, uh, of Dick Smith on the 14th of August last year and the evidence that he gave to a Senate inquiry in respect to this. Senator, currently CAS has no plans to extend or change the mandate that we have for ADSB. Right. But you are aware of the concerns of the financial impact it would have on general aviation? I'm aware that concerns have been raised, yes, and And have those concerns been in any way uh, uh, tested or, or attempts to, to ascertain, in CASA's eyes, the validity or otherwise of those concerns about the impact of ADSB on general aviation? Senator, the mandate was set some time ago and it was a regular, regulatory impact statement was made at the time then. We haven't gone back and revised or updated that because the, the mandate was established some time, I think it was in the 2012 sort of time frame. Right. So we, we have not, however, I will say that we have been engaging with avionics companies, getting an understanding of systems that are out there and looking at how, it, the, how costs could be reduced. Okay. But you're, you're aware that we're, we're due to start, I think, well, below, well before New Zealand, for instance, in terms of ADSB. Is that your understanding? In I'd have to check the timing in regards to New Zealand. Ours is 2017. I am aware the United States is 2020. Right. So we're starting three years before the US. I think New Zealand is due to start, stand corrected, a year after the US. I so believe it might be 2021 from memory. Yes. But the mandate we set was, that has been set, was established uh, some time ago and the consultation that occurred with industry occurred back then in regards to setting and establishing the time frames. I'd have to find some of the right. details regarding it. So, so d d because of time constraints, Mr Skidmore, what, what has been put to me by a number of people in the general aviation community is that a lot, many general aviation uh, uh, operators uh, will hit the wall because of ADSB, that it will be a significant financial impost, uh, that the costs uh, would in all likelihood come down significantly once the US adopts it uh, by 2020, that uh, why are we you know, why are we doing this uh, several years earlier than the US, which is going to be the, the market leader, if you like, in rolling this out? Senator, I don't think anyone disagrees that ADSB is a good system, and we're putting it in place. And there's, there's already 73 or 75 stations that the, the Air Services has established. So we, the system is up and running. It's already been being used. There's a number of people who have already implemented ADSB would be turning around and denying them the benefits of ADSB if we, well, if we what suddenly. What portion of general aviation would have implemented ADSB? Do you think? Can you take that on notice? Can I just correct? It's in the number. The mandate is for IFR aircraft. Right. So that encompasses a number of operators and a number of systems. It's not just general aviation. In regards to the exact numbers of those who have implemented the ADSB in the general aviation space, I don't have those numbers with me at the moment. If you could take those on notice. And take that on notice. So is CASA still open to talking to representatives of the general aviation community about their serious concerns in respect of ADSB? Anyone can talk to us in regards to asking for an exemption if they can put forward a good safety case, Senator, and, and that's, we're, that we're happy to question. look at it. The question was about the implementation date which many in general aviation fear will be disastrous for general aviation in this country. CASA has currently said, well, there is an established mandate in regards to the time frame for ADSB, and we have no plans of changing that at this stage, Senator. Notwithstanding Australia's uh, a unique regime, the sort of evidence that uh, Mr Smith gave uh, when he gave evidence. There's also, other, there's also other arguments that would say that if we waited until America was actually implementing, then there wouldn't be the systems around the price would actually go up, Senator. What, if there's more, if there's more of it, because no, because all the systems would be being used and being implemented into systems in America. Right. So there's been an analysis of that. I've, 
There has been, I'm just saying, there are other arguments that yes. support that. But has that argument been tested? Is it subject to any, any analysis to verify that argument? I mean, both ways, I guess. Uh, well, exactly, both ways. I haven't got the argument in regards to the other issues associated with ATSB either. Right. Have you been invited to attend the Tamworth meeting tomorrow? No, I have not, Senator. Okay. That's, I, I didn't know, I honestly didn't know whether you were invited or not. That, that's, uh, I think you want me to be done now, so again, this is your last estimates ever. Uh, I'll capitulate to you. He's thinking